Hey everyone, I'm Jake, the Dungeon Master for Venture Ventures, Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus, episode 27. We're going to get started here in a second. Let me do a quick recap of what happened last time. Our adventurers, who are still the Bean Squad, uh, have, um, oops, let me mute that, sorry, uh, have uh, ventured into the Bone Brambles and got a... Uh, a mission from a hag there named Red Ruth who w would help them if they just go to this spa slash restaurant slash demi plane where a person named Mahadi would um they need to set up essential essentially a spa treatment for the hag. And uh that's what happened last time with a bunch of shopping and uh interactions with various merchants and um yeah that, that's pretty much it that's where we left off with the shopping episode and uh yeah you guys are still there um or we can want to tell ahead. everyone the big news the big news we were uh, adventure ventures was purchased by qvc oh qvc yes qvc no nah, that's I forgot about that. Uh, signed the contracts today. Um, didn't read them. Uh, <laughs> but I do get a bunch of uh, uh, tack, tack lights, those uh, tactical flashlights. Oh, wow. As a bonus. Some and slap chops? I didn't get the slap chops. Uh. I, it's, I, shouldn't, I tried to negotiate, but I kind of backed off because I'm not good at negotiating. So tack lights it is i mean uh not reading the contracts is a boss move yeah i mean i looked at him in the eye and said i trust you and uh <laughs> he matched his body language mm -hmm. yep yep I, I, I nagged him say. yeah 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 uh, -huh. uh all right <laughs> <laughs> and scene um so uh you guys want to skip ahead going back to the bone rambles you want to do some more shopping. What do you want to do? I th I'm done shopping. I'm done shopping. Okay. Hand me down Jar shopping. Jarvis. I'm fine. Jarvis if you guys want me to I'm get done. a magical item and just spend some money, I'll do it. But I don't have anything in mind. So right. I'll leave it up to you guys. To you know it's come it. back. Yeah, we okay. know we know where to find it. That's such a Jerry response. If you guys want me to buy something, I'll buy something. I have money. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right, um, heading back, you make it to the Bone Brambles and you follow her weird directions on how to get through the Bone Brambles, this thicket of dead things, trees, and people. But in uh, reverse. You're doing the reverse. It takes you about an hour to not go very far because you're being very careful about it. And you see the familiar hut of Red Ruth with the entrails strung strung about uh, a garland made of uh, you know kidneys and uh, gallbladders and uh, Red Ruth hears you coming and she steps out and goes she get it done of all course, done Ruth. for you Ruth I have an appointment you do you're good you said show up whenever okay and you guys are going to watch the house Absolutely. How long do you expect to be gone? Oh, well, it's been a few centuries since I was clean, so however long it takes to get clean, then uh, it shouldn't be too long. How long How long are you worried it might take? Uh, I, I just don't want it to be centuries. Oh, no. I've got things to do. Oh, I've, I've got to fulfill my end of the bargain. So, yes, it won't be too long. I, I better get going, though, just to cut down on the time. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And don't go uh, messing about changing my house or anything. Noted. I've got things exactly where they need to be. I forget. Any... So, did you want a pyramid or no? I do not want a pyramid. 
I know you are joking, but I do not want a pyramid. Just curious, is there anything specific you wouldn't do? I wouldn't mess with someone's house who has a memory like a steel trap, knows where everything's put and placed. I know where every intestine lies. Hmm. I know where every root... Uh, root... <laughs> I almost said root canal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was performed yes. in this hut. <laughs> sure. Uh, every molar, every tonsil, I know where they are. If any... <sighs> Do you expect anybody to show up? Should you tell them, like, you're away, come back later, take a message? I don't expect anybody, but, uh, yes, you can give them that message. Beautiful. And, yes. Well, you have yourself a wonderful spa treatment, Ruth. Okay. Goodbye now. She walks backwards out through the bone brambles and turns a corner and she's gone. And it's just you guys here. Uh, in the bone brambles, anything you want to do or? Well, um, gentlemen, I'm gonna go check this out and oh, I don't don't fuck her house up. gingerly uh, oh. to so as not to disturb things. But I definitely yeah, I walk right into her house. <laughs> okay, uh, walking into her house, um, it's a rather small hut. Uh, it looks about as big as it did from the outside. It's not a uh, TARDIS type of effect going on. Um, And uh, similar to the outside, there are entrails and guts and red-ish bloody things everywhere. Uh, Jars and things filled with more more guts. Uh, What's it like in there, Ollie? What's it like in there? Ooh, it's disgusting. Uh, I'm scared. Where did she even find all these? I mean, we haven't we haven't come across many things that have actual organs since we've been down here. Yeah, but she's been here for centuries. Yeah, but all of this is still juicy. <laughs> so just kind of like well preserved. Yeah, <laughs> that's an accurate sound. <laughs> Lulu says, "Guys, I'm I don't want to go in there. It's gross enough out here, and and, and who who knows what's in there? Ollie knows." Um, the one thing I'm keeping an eye out for, because she said she makes potions and such. Um, do I see any, like, healing potions lying about? Make a perception check. I probably don't. Uh, Instead eight? of Ollie dying, he's trying to get us all killed. No, you don't notice any, uh, you don't notice any potion-shaped bottles or anything like that, uh, anywhere lying about. All right, I, I... Look around, and then I walk out. It's not a very big place. Okay. Uh, anyone else want to do anything as uh, just waiting outside I'm, on yeah, the porch? I'm just keeping watch. Okay. Jarvis is just going to be chilling, uh, working on learning his new spell. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't know how she makes potions in there, guys. I mean, there's not a, a single piece of equipment that I saw kitty just organs and guts so many guts so many fast maybe she has a basement <laughs> oh good idea jer uh, well, can i look at the floor oh. and see if there's a basement okay i assume uh, there's not but... make an investigation check oh, sure. as i see ollie going out of view i'm gonna walk into the house and follow him okay that's a 14 14. Uh, yeah, you don't find anything that would you think would lead to a basement. You find uh, something that kind of slants downwards, uh, but it just looks like it may be her personal place where she sleeps. Um, yeah. Gotcha. Nope, no, no basement, Jer. It was a good idea. Oh, hey, Jarvis. Um, so now that I'm actually in here and I'm not doing this spell anymore, uh, I'm going to start if you're going to be staying in here for a little bit, Ollie, I'm going to do a, a ritual of detect magic. Oh, God, no. But we can do... We don't have to wait for that. Well, we can go outside, and then I can do it. <laughs> and my eyes go all big and wide. I'm like, oh. Oh. That was a good idea, Jarvis. I don't know why I didn't do that. I should just do this all the time. <laughs> what do you see? Um, 
Is anything glow? Are any of the organs glowing? <laughs> They're faintly glowing. Not nothing to the same brightness uh, as traditional magic items that you've seen before. Gotcha. Um, you, just based on the faintness of it, maybe they're in the process of being enchanted. Uh, but yeah. Well, it looks like that's how everything's staying juicy. But that's about it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Sit down. Boop. A couple yeah, hours. Stay in here. Boop. A couple hours pass with uh, nothing going on. So, how long does it take you to do your scribing your fireball spell, or what spell do you get? Half the time, so it's thirty. It's an hour per, so I think it's thirty minutes per level. So, an hour and a half, if I remember correctly. Okay, yeah, you get it done. I got to double and, check, but yeah. Uh, who's outside? It's Jerry in Rollercoast. Lulu. Yeah, Lulu. Oh, we went back outside. I didn't. Okay. Stay in the house. Um, you hear some some rumbling through the wood. And the people that are outside. Yes, and some like branches crashing. I knock an arrow and try to hide if I have time. Okay. So I'm sorry. It was I an hour per. Uh, at, it's an hour, It's two hours per, and I don't. Ha it's not a conjuration, so it's actually I don't get it fully done. Okay. Okay. Well, you got part of it done. Yeah. Um. I take this is Ollie, Ollie and Rollercoaster's lead and try to hide as well. Yeah. So this is like a five foot, a uh, little more than five foot, no greater than ten foot area just outside her hovel. Um. So there's really no place to hide adequately. I go in the uh, hovel. <laughs> Go in the hovel. Okay. Um, and hide. <laughs> just like your experiences and the rest of the brambles, this just it's close quarters everywhere you go. Yeah. Um, Real shit. And you hear some... <whistles> like someone whistling into a microphone. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, you hear funny. the wind flowing through the trees. Maybe it sounds like it would make a lot of sense if the wind sounded like faint screaming, and it kind of does. And you see this tree moving, getting closer and closer. Is it? And then, is the tree pinging once it's within 30 feet? Oh, no, it's Ollie that's doing it. Never mind. I can't see anything. Uh, and... Coming around the corner is a massive tree ant with two spectral familiar uh, dryads. So let's roll initiative as these things are coming at you. Don't like this. Why does nothing ever want to just talk to us? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, Jarvis. Three. Nice. Jerry. 11. Rollercoast? 15. Uh, Ollie? 21. Nice. Nice. Hey, I should get my dice, huh? Things DMs do. Derp, derp, derp. Of course Lulu rolls crap. And... Hey, at least Lulu rolled this time. Hey, she rolled last time too. <laughs> Just say it. So if, if it, we haven't I, taken I have a, a note on my screen. <laughs> we, we haven't taken a long rest yet. We did the shopping and then correct. We, we correct. Still have yeah, I have two points of exhaustion. I'll remind you all. Man. <laughs> oh, hey, I have one. That means those would have been a disadvantage. You could have had Red Ruth wait a little longer if you wanted to, but here we are. Yeah, here we are. I meant to say something, and then I didn't. It's all good. All right. We'll be fine. Ollie. Um, I am... How far away are the trance and such? Uh, they're about 15 feet away. Oh, sweet. 
plenty close enough. Um, I'm going to say pretty colors for everyone and cast fairy fire on them. Nice. Uh, it's a 20 foot cube, so hopefully I can get all three. Okay. Uh, is that a dex? Save? It is a dex save. And I'm going for a uh, pretty green light. All right. It's easy on our cat eyes. Yeah. So you get the treant, Sparkle. the necrotic looking treant, and one of the ethereal banshees, or excuse me, ethereal dryads, who are reskinned banshees. Awesome. Awesome. Is that the, are they the same things we fought? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Oh. Not the exact same ones, but it looks like they're they the same just, type. They could just bring us right down to zero. Yeah, that's my worry. Fan out. Um, oh, lordy. As much as you can. After casting Fairy Fire, I'm going to say, uh, Roly, the green lights! And inspire you. So you have an inspiration, a D8. Fantastic. Can I, oh, I can mark that here. And then I'm going to stay in the hut. Okay. You're in the hut. Uh, roller coaster. Uh, I'm going to take my three shots at the big dude. The treant. The treant. Uh, the last one will be my dread ambusher. They are all okay. going to be sharpshooter. And you have advantage because he's fairy fired. Oh. And you have inspiration. If you still yeah, need. I don't think so. <laughs> 24 on the first attack. Uh, yes. 24 on the second attack. 219. As you're like looking at this treant, just lining up your shots, you see a skeletal body inside the, the uh, tangled roots and, and mess of limbs, uh, tree limbs, that this thing is comprised of. And then uh, on my last shot, I'm going to use that inspiration. Cause I roll. I got a 13. And then let's see. Uh, brings it up to an 18 on the last shot. Yes. <sighs> and that was all with advantage, right? Yep. Okay. So let me get two 19s. All right. All right, so the first hit was 17 damage. The second hit is 23, so 40 total. Nice. And not yet. Hold on, the third hit, 6 is 12, plus 5 is 17. Then another 27 damage on the third hit, so 67 Damn. damage. That would be... Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice work. You've effectively debarked this thing. With your and, arrows. Uh, Off claps. If I can hide behind Jerry, I'm gonna. <laughs> sure, uh, if Jerry allows it, yeah. Um, but uh, for now, it's the tree ant's turn, unless you have something else you'd like to do. Nope, that'll be all. Okay. All right. This tree ant is gonna. Uh, who, Jerry, you're standing outside, right? Yeah, I've always been outside. Okay, it's going to come make two slam attacks on you. With those two numbers. A nat 20 and a 3. Ouch. Yes, natural 20 hits. Okay. <laughs> Shockingly enough. <laughs> uh, I hate this when this happens, when I haven't had a chance to rage yet. Rage yet? 22 yeah. bludgeoning damage. You're fine. I hope. <laughs> and that's the end of its turn. And that brings us to you, Jerry. Just take that full 22 damage. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna... How are you looking? Jerry looks, he looks nice and banged up, but. Yeah, I didn't look good before this, so. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, I really want to take out those dryads first, but since the the tree seems to have the most damage already, 
Uh, does anyone remember? Uh, I guess he can't. I can't ask you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll just go after the tree. I'll do great, great weapon master. But I'm raging. Okay, do you want to rage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nat twenty. Nice. Nice. There's uh, that. You do have advantage. Don't forget. Yeah. So it's been a week since I did this. So yeah. So yeah, what happens with the nat twenty on that? Because I I, my, I subtract five, so it's fifteen hit. You it's still a nat twenty. Yeah. Okay. So, so auto. Okay. I mean, I can't roll higher than that. So even with advantage. It's a crit. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah no. it's a, it's For that one, the advantage didn't matter. Okay. So it hits. Yeah. Okay. The, cool. the crit hits. Yeah. Okay. So I get an extra damage die, and let me just. Don't double that extra die. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. So. Plus raging. Oh, so that's, that's 30 damage. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. So it's 40 without the extra die. So 45. Yeah, nice. 45 damage to the first hit. Smashing nice. into the, the tree. The wood of this tree. You're chopping it down as if you had an axe. And cool. it's very injured. All right, take another swing. Okay. That's not going to do it. That's, uh, uh, I think. Yeah, it's only 12. 12 will not hit. All right. That's my turn. Was that with advantage? Yeah. Banshee time. It's my favorite time. <laughs> uh,. <laughs> Possible TPK incoming. Real quick, Gary, do I, I still have your stone, correct? You do. Fuck yes. What does that give me on con? Is it like it gives advantage? You advan it gives you a uh, no. It gives you um. It gives you uh, proficiency. Okay, six. So plus three to it. So I have a plus five con. Okay. So uh, this one ethereal dryad. Uh, seems to while while Jerry was swinging his maul, both of them disappeared, and and uh, one the one that wasn't uh, lit up uh, appears right next to Jarvis and lets out a mournful cry that is really a tearjerker. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna need you all to make a constitution saving throw now is oh. this a spell that it's casting or no no okay you all being everybody yeah okay yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> okay. there's no like line of fire or anything it's just everybody Who's unless there? you can't hear it for some reason okay i rolled uh, two threes with disadvantage <sighs> just uh Helpful advice in the future if you're facing a banshee. Silent spell is amazing. Uh -huh. I rolled a 15. You know you don't have disadvantage on saves, right, Gary? Only a I, I got a 15. Oh, you're is that right. Just, is that just not enough? I'm waiting for the others. 17. Three. <laughs> I wonder what exhaustion third level does. <laughs> That's oh, Sorry. Where uh, That's where you actually, have disadvantage on saves. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got six. Oh, Sorry. No. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> he just, he just up and he down. Gave up, up and down. I'm sick of this goddamn thing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If with a three with that stone, it wouldn't have done me any good. Still it, yeah. I still would have been on the ground. It's better that Rollercoast had it. Most of the time, he's not getting hit anyways, because he stays in the background or whatever, so. Yeah. Uh, what'd you get, Rolikos? 15. All right. 15 passes, 17 passes, and Dave got a 15, too, so uh, everyone except Jarvis. Jarvis hits the ground <laughs> as a single tear falls out of his eye and goes down his cheek. 
And here comes the next one. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is so going... So when I go down and come back up, is my mage armor gone? Do I have to recast it when I come back up? Or does uh, it no, I, it's, not a con- it's not a concentration uh, spell. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's just cast on you. That's what I would rule. Um, all right. Really can't think of a reason not to use it uh, for the second one. <laughs> That's fine. I got a real creative Let it DM. fly. Let it, let it happen while I'm down already. It's over with. Yeah, while I'm already down, let it use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, all right. So, yeah, another mournful whale, guys. Come on. How does this one do it, though? 19! Uh, I mean, does it walk up to someone, or what does it do? No, it just screams and The other one walks right next to Gary, right? Yep. I got an 18. Okay. Get your healing hands ready. Oh, and that one. (laughs) Down goes the barbarian. (laughs) With one cry. I'm down, 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 because I already used my uh, relentless, so. Endurance. Yeah. Yep. One, remember, Dave, if you get brought back up to health, you get uh, one level of exhaustion. Gary knows what that's all about. I mean, Jarvis. <laughs> By the end of this campaign, you'll no longer have those exhaustions, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu's, Lulu's turn, and she didn't roll for either of them, so she's going to do that right now. Don't die, Lulu. Well, she survives the first one and goes down on the second one. <laughs> Sick. A natural one. <laughs> the second one got two of us with natural one. Oh man. Pew. Us cats are just. Best save. That's a save for Lulu. Okay. Garvis. Uh, do I have disadvantage on death saves or no? With exhaustion? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> Well, the third one... No, you don't have the third one level yet. You don't have yet, the third so, one yet. So, so no, you're, you're good. good. Oh, right. Because It's, it's when I come save. back up. Yes, yes, yes. 13. Nice. Being unconscious is very easy. It doesn't exhaust you at all. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> Jarvis, wake up! As you get a healing word. <gasps> uh, that is... Eight I'm so points. tired. You got max. Good job. Thank you. Whatever. Um, as I uh, lay into the banshee that's right next to him, because I think you said that's one of the glowy ones. Yeah. So I'm going to lay into that banshee. No, the glowy one is uh, not next to Jarvis. Gotcha. I'm going to um, rush over to the glowy one okay. and lay into the glowy one. So with advantage, that's a 19 on the first attack. I think hits. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's 11 points of damage. Second attack. That's better. That's a 22. Oh, I need to roll it. <laughs> I need to roll the die, not just pick it up and see what the number is. Uh, nine points of damage. Minimum damage. And I am going to risk an opportunity attack and run back into the hut. Okay. Well, you're going to get one. Okay. Does a 19 hit? A 19 is my armor class. Oh. Yes, it does. So close. The corrupting touch. 14 necrotic damage coming at you. I'll take it. Roller coaster. I, mean, I don't really have a choice in the matter. but Yeah. <laughs> if I bonus action cast a spell, can I action cast a cantrip or no? Yes. Okay. If it if like your spell is cast like it can be cast as a bonus action, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be healing word, which is a bonus action um i am going to third level Whoa. healing word jerry 
Getting the big bucks spent on you, Jerry. That's all I got left. Ooh, that's a four. Three. If it makes you guys feel better, and I'm sure it will. Four. I think the whale for the banshee is kind of cheap, and I felt bad using it. But did I you though? <laughs> did okay. you? I did. I honestly did. That's so. I honestly did. Especially if there's two of them. Like that's so crazy. We had three earlier. I know. Mm -hmm. it's... Jerry, you get twelve health. Alrighty. And then I am going to take a shot at this tree because we've already put a ton of damage into it. Okay. Uh, sharpshooter. Uh, mod 20? Yes. Wow. That couldn't have gone any better. 23 damage. Okay. Hanging on by a, a root. Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Treant's turn. And it's going to run up to old Rollercos. Because uh, you're not in the hut, right? Nope. I was hanging out by Jer. Okay. Uh, it's going to put two slam attacks into you. Does a 22 and a 17 hit? A uh, 22 does. 17 does not. Okay. Full plate armor. Yep. <laughs> that is 18 bludgeoning damage. I don't look good. Jerry. I am out of rages, so uh, not raging. And I'm going to go after. Uh, Treant looks almost dead. Oh, God, it seems like such a waste of my turn. But uh, these things we know only nice use their the whale. The, great, the nice thing about great weapon master is if I kill the tree, I get an extra attack. The using it once was a meta knowledge thing. So, oh uh, um, well, they did in the last. You killed fight. them last time before they. You killed them pretty quickly. Oh, did we? Okay. But if you want to use it, you can. Because I gave it to you, the meta knowledge. Sorry, well, I have one whale. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. I'm going after the tree. Uh, so, manage. Uh, see, so that's. Eh, it's only an 11. Nope. The tree. Taking another swing. Oh my God. Come on. 14. Nope. Damn it. Well, it's the end of my turn. Banshee is going to uh, is going to corrupting touch Jarvis. It's the one next to Jarvis. Is it he see me lying on the ground? I haven't gotten up yet. He technically doesn't know I'm back yet, possibly. Or he's uh, trying he has, to kill he you. Has a, he has a ability called Detect Life. Ah! <laughs> or he was just trying to murder you. Oh, wait, he's casting a spell? No, it's Corrupting Touch. Uh. It's It's always on. Um, that is, yeah, 21 to hit. If you do more than eight hit points, I'm back unconscious. All right. And four levels of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> How many exhaustion points do you, you die at? Six, I think. <laughs> yeah. You should really have a conversation with your party about handling them. Uh, nine, unfortunately. I'm unconscious again. <laughs> Oh. All right. Banshee number two is going to corrupting touch old Ollie. It's going to try. That's, and that's then, accurate. and might do it. <laughs> that's neat. Are you, in, are you in the hut? Yeah. Uh, as this thing moves through objects and reaches out through the wall <laughs> and taps you. Of course. Uh, well, it is ethereal. 
That is 16 to hit. No, sir. There you go. Bounce back. Uh, Lulu's still down, so she's going to make another death save. And she fails. Jarvis? I just want to let you know that I don't like her house rule. <laughs> dying sucks. <laughs> no, dying four times sucks. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know. I've only died twice. <laughs> you can put that in the complaint box. Okay, uh, so now I have disadvantage. Not that it yes, matters, because I rolled a four. Now you have disadvantage. <laughs> so that's one fail. And it could matter if you got a one. You could this take... This is true. Your, your character <laughs> hasn't 19. even... Even died yet. Uh, just remember how with how much grace Brian took his two character deaths. That's all I'm saying. Hey, if you I'm die, not, I'm not if you die, die can I keep things. this orb? No, it goes away. I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, actually, no, I believe there are actually rules on how long it the magic lasts until it fades. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I thought I it said the, as long as you don't right. cast another one. Well, yeah, but if you die, <laughs> Ollie. anyway. My turn? Great. Um, I am going to shout again. Jarvis, wake up. <laughs> and now I really feel like shit. Um, and <laughs> you get seven points this time. Um, and then I'm going to run that? out of the hut Four. and take a diving stab at the tree that I just saw. Slamming down at a uh, roller coaster. Oh, What'd you get? Uh, great is what I got. That's a twenty-eight on the first for thirteen points of damage. How do you kill the tree? Um, like I said, I take like a diving stab, like I launch into the air, Superman style, with my sword out, aiming for the skeleton in the tree, um, and I guess I get it. <laughs> you do. You do. And this thing falls, slumps to the side. Parts of it are f sloughing off still as it's not moving. And I yeah. gracefully land back on my feet, of course. Of um, course. Of Kitty course. Cat style. Um, but the threats still abound, and I still got another swing of my sword. Um, it's all pretty close quarters, so I can figure I it bounce is. back to the uh, Banshee next to Jarvis. That's been... <laughs> Draining the life out of him. <laughs> yep. so this is literally. the not glowy one, correct? <laughs> correct. Okay. No advantage. Um, why didn't you get attacked by the one with advantage, Gary? Then, then I would have been more inclined to attack it. Uh, Twenty-one. Keep your wizard this. alive. <laughs> Twenty-one hits. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to use a defensive flourish on this. With my last inspiration, uh, the red die is my flourish die. Okay. They're both fives. Nice. Uh, so that's 18 points of damage, plus five to my AC for a turn. Okay. Damage. I look graceful as fuck this turn, is the moral Indeed. of this story. Roller coast. Uh, I guess I'll take two shots. At uh, the one that's on Jarvis. That one's getting fucked up as soon as I get a turn again. That's, if I get a uh, turn again. <laughs> 23, uh, sharpshooter 23 to hit, and then 14 on the second hit? Uh, yes, they both hit. Yeah, these things have this whale, but they have very low AC, and that's about it. 44 damage for the two hits. You kill it with your arrows and put it out of existence for the at least the time being, so it's dead. Sweet. Uh, Done? Uh, I'll bonus act. Wait, is Jarvis unconscious or are you conscious? I'm up. Oh, you're well, up. Okay. Uh, then I'm, I will. I'm, yeah, I will. Bonus uh, action. Third word. Third level. Cure wound. Uh, nice. Their uh, healing word. Lulu. Okay. Guys, this is my last spell. So. Uh, hey, that's how it should be. Fortunately, should be I haven't post. gotten to use any of mine, so I have a lot left. 
<laughs> Ten health to Lulu. Uh, there we go. That's what I was going to do. Ten health to Lulu. That is it for me. <gasps> That's what you hear. <laughs> I can't let my plot device die. I need her. I was going to let her die. Just to see what you guys would do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jerry. Going after the only thing left. One banshee. Uh, nineteen. Yes. I guess I could roll the advantage. See if I get a net twenty. Yeah. Uh, 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 up, 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 five. Don't get to add rage bonus. Uh, uh, Twenty-one. Damage total? Yeah. Okay. End of your turn? Still alive? Yep. All right. Take another swing. 20? Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, 22 again. Or 20. Familiar, right. familiar feeling as uh, you felt the other day. As your maul connects with the dryad, the banshee dryad, and get feels some resistance and then swooshes through as this thing kind of goes into vapor and is dead. Nice work. I never get the extra attack because the last the last thing. You can hit me if you need to. <laughs> you can try at least. Just don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much of you, much of me. You can see through the plate armor, but like, I don't, I don't look good. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's real. You hear like I don't know what those banshees the do. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Probably like you, you, bleeding through the crevices uh, of the plate armor. I just you actually up. hear the, bur the gurgling of the blood coming out of roller coast. Guys, you, you, you all look awful. <laughs> I. Ew. Awful. Well, I'm going to uh. start with him because you've had enough for me. And I, uh, <laughs> and I pat, stay awake next time, man. And I pat Rollercoats on the back. I'll give you a second level cure wounds. Ooh. I'm going to go to Guess who's bed. not out of spell slots? Uh, What's is... four levels of exhaustion do? Uh, so now I have disadvantage on all... Um, saving throws, saving throws, and disadvantage on. Uh, there was one other thing. Hold on. Ability checks. No, I already had that one. Already had that. Uh, oh no, <laughs> no, sorry. Oh, now, hit point now my hit points. I only have my max hit points is twenty nine. <laughs> it gets halved. Uh, you got seventeen points of healing. Rollercoast. I rolled. The good news is at fifth on. level, it just says you're damn ugly. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no. At fifth level, you don't move. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, you're forced to rest. My speed is oh, zero. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry will well, carry him. Yeah, fight Jerry to fight. can carry you. Like, uh, what's his name from Game of Thrones? Uh, <laughs> so Jarvis yeah. is going to go Brandon into the house. Throw, throw Gary into the battle. Jarvis is going to go into the house, and if he tired as all hell, he's going to cast, or he's going to do a ritual of the tiny hut. Do, okay. that out, do that out here, man, in case she comes back. Oh, fine. Just, ugh. So I stay outside, and I do the hut. Okay. One minute passes. Two minute passes. <laughs> no, you get it. You can't. <laughs> you get <laughs> it. I really hate you right now. I laugh so hard. Guys, I'm going to go to sleep for four hours. Is that okay? <laughs> what time of day is it? I don't Hell. care. You're pretty tired. I don't really care. It's could go time. to sleep. Yeah, let's all go to sleep. <laughs> I'll I'll stay awake for a bit and uh, keep I'll take. I am pretty useless in the next battle, so you know, I'll sleep. take watch with Ollie. So D and D rules. Um, you can only take one long well. rest per like certain hour time period, right? Yeah, twenty four hours or so. It's been a while. Yeah, you can't just like power sleep. Yeah, I know. I figured. But it's been a while. 
because we haven't long rested. Yeah, you can long well, rest I, now. I'm referring to my next long rest to get. Oh, yeah. oh, oh right. Gary know, was four, four points of exhaustion. exhaustion. Gary was just like, I'm gonna sleep for 48 hours, type of. I, I knew. I was pretty that. sure there was the that you could only do it one per so long. I just couldn't remember how long it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Then don't need to do that. Then. So with my fourth level having my hit points, does the having of hit points come back? Before, or after my re my my maximum. I'll resets. say you get your hit points come back. Right. I'll say that. Thank you. Because I'm benevolent. After you knocked me down four times, thanks. You I didn't knock you down. <laughs> Dryad did that. As I say, and when I'm gaming with my friends all the time, don't get hit forehead. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sad thing like is, it. I didn't even have an opportunity to hide because I rolled that three. On the initiative, yeah. and I literally got hit before my turn every single time. Well, in your defense, they can move through objects, people, and things, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I was, running into the hut didn't stop them from attacking. I, I me. was, if I had the opportunity to do something, I was going to banish one of them. Oh, good call. <laughs> but yeah, I would have been. But it. The problem is, where did they go? Right here. Dropped. Right. And your initiative was too low, yeah. And yeah, your, no. If your that, initiative's too low. Had I wizard, rolled so your constitution better. sucks. Oh, yeah. And your rolls were bad. That's the annoying thing is that Jerry's constitution is pretty good. So I'm. Um, you made it through one, but, right? Yeah, I made it through one, but then, yeah, yeah. it's just, it's there hard to make it through two or three. Are you guys staying in, or I assume you all staying inside the hut? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's protection. I can see outside of it, so. Yeah. And you I'm disguised. I'm, I'm doing the best I can do to disguise it somewhat is the environment okay Bloody. yeah cool uh you've got a a dead tree ant outside the hut now and uh i'm gonna take some time on my watch to just kind of kick around the the tr dead tree ant and make sure it's a you're gonna... dead and yeah i don't mind leaving the hut because i can, okay. we can go in and out right yeah 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 just jarvis can't mm -hmm. um yeah, I'm, I'm taking a watch, so I'll make sure that it's dead and just kind of kick around the uh, inside of it. Um, okay, you find... See what there is uh, to find. You find a gnome skeleton, and uh, right next to the gnome skeleton is a witch's hat. Okay. Uh, and Put a... it on. Put it on. Gary, cover your ears. A wand. What? <laughs> I, I, I hope he doesn't tell you. <laughs> Did he say what um, kind of wand it was? No. No, it's just oh, okay. a wand. Um, I'm I'm going to um. Well, no, I already was. I was I was on watch and bored, so I'm definitely like stoned out of my mind on detect magic. Um, are these things glowing at all? Yes, both of them are. Uh. The hat is glowing in illusory magic and what I will call purple, a purplish lavender color. It's very pretty. And uh, the wand is glowing in a orangish re orangish red. Uh, I'm going to say without wanting to look up what it is, uh, evocation. Got it. Uh, sweet. And I'm going to I'm going to pick up those things. Um, I'm also going to grab several relatively even sized bones from the gnome. OK, um, like rib cage. No, I'm going to go for like uh, limbs, limb Femur? bones, femurs, okay. femurs, humorous, uh, humorous. humorous. That's a humorous. There you go. And then, yeah, um, but they're gnome ones, so they're smaller. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab those. Those four four big ones, I think, will, are going to serve me well. So two femurs um, and two humorous sci. Yeah. sci. From, from yeah. a dead gnome. Perfect. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what I was looking for. The, the, the witch's stuff is a bonus. I'm going to stroll back into the uh, hut with the witch's hat on my head and uh, waving a wand about. And are like, you Ungard! attuning? Are nope. you at... Okay. No, I'm just being ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I've just swapped right. out my bicocket for a witch's hat. It looks fantastic it's all crooked and uh it's not perfectly straight kind of at the top it goes eh, eh, eh. and uh yeah it's your your classic witch's hat <sighs> roller coaster you see it i don't think anyone else does can you use a wand by the way ollie 
yeah, probably. Wand restrictions are usually just you have to be a spellcaster. Yeah, I think so. That's actually a good point. I make them sometimes. I am <laughs> going to say that before I went in the uh, hut with the wand, um, I've, I've seen wands before. I imagine you could Jarvis fire using a wand it all the time without, uh, without knowing what it is in an attempt to figure out what it is. You want to attune oh, to it? no. Sure, I guess if I have to attune <laughs> to it, I'm gonna, I'm, I guess I'll be attuning to a wand. Let me make sure. Because you don't have Identify, slots. right? No. <laughs> I'm thinking he was hoping to blind fire. Yes, I was shooting for blind firing. Uh, but if oh. I have to attune to it to do that. No, I'll say you can blind fire it. I'm going to blind fire it down uh, down the bone brambles away from the hut. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Let's find that, like, a nice, nice good at least. So it's at least 30 feet. Of a clearance down a down a pathway. To... You're doing it outside the hut, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pointing away from the hut. Oh come on, D and D Beyond. How about you? You know, you could have just waited for Jarvis to wake up. I could do a lot of things. <laughs> Jarvis might be too tired. I don't know. He went down many times. Jarvis is probably gonna. Sleep you think it needs life. a spell to properly? Uh, to get access to its special magic. Um, gotcha. Okay. So if you do want to attune to it, I can tell you exactly what it is. Um, I'm going to dance around silly like with a witch's hat and a wand, which Rolikos uh, definitely sees mm -hmm. before I walk back in and I just go like, I don't know that this works. It didn't do anything. It's magical though. You think it'll? You think it's not broken? Like not you broken. felt magic go through you? but it didn't shoot anything. I'm going to stay with it for a little bit and figure this out. Yeah, I know nothing about wands. That one's on you, brother. It, has, it hasn't been four hours by chance, watch. has it? No, it hasn't. Okay. So you are going to attune? I am going to attune to the wand. Sure, yeah. I'll, I'll give that wand a shot. It's a plus one wand of the war mage. Oh. Oh. Awesome. Oh, my. Right, so ignore that. half cover when making a spell attack. Bonus to spell attack roll. Plus one. I'll look it over. Um, but that fills up my attunement slot, so I'm definitely not attuning to the hat at this time, at least. Roller coaster, you Could attuning to the hat? Attuned. If he will, if he's like wants me to or will let me. Oh, would you like the hat? I mean, I have my trusty bicocket. Uh, yeah, it here. Does it I do something? It it's very fetching. And magical. Yeah, is it magical? Do you know? I oh, know yeah, you no, know how to check. It's very pretty. In multiple ways. Yes, I, it's magical. I, I put it on. <laughs> I'll attune. At the end of your attunement, you feel your toes start to go limp. Cool. Shit. And they start to disappear and... From your toes up through your body, your body just kind of disappears for a second and then reappears. Um, Had invisibility? And you look around and you look down at yourself and you're still there. There's a slight shimmer to you. Very slight. But you think you could disguise yourself into just about anything with this hat, so... Oh, nice. Your whole body is glowing now. Is it just a regular disguise? Hat self of disguise. Hat of disguise. Did you think it was uh, cursed for a second? For a second. It is in a minor way. Your toes are numb. Quickly, they go back. You were oh, just bummer. sitting on him. It was just the way you were sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that happens sometimes. That's why cats do that big stretch when they wake up. Got to get the blood flowing. Cool. Uh, four hours passes, and who takes watch? You guys staying still up? 
roller coasting Ollie through the night? Or Gary no, should be waking up <laughs> right around now, right? Yeah, I can wake up at four hours. Okay, so Jarvis no. wakes up when you wake looking up, I kind see of better. Roller coast. Huh. Got a new hat. Does have a cat with a witch's hat? It's adorable. In full plate. In full plate. <laughs> you need to hire an artist to make to draw that. <laughs> Cat and a witch's what, hat. What, what wielding a bow. Like, None of yeah. it makes sense. What's that do for you? <laughs> uh, there's no like charges on this thing, right? While wearing the hat, you can use an action to disguise yourself at will. So, and I'll be like, oh, check this out. And I'm going to disguise myself as Red Ruth. Sure enough, before you appears the horrifying visage of Red Ruth. Ugh, that's or... the first thing you turned into? Ugh. Yeah, it's going to help me blend in down here. Oh, yeah, I know that spell. I don't know it personally, but that's pretty cool. And then I will drop it and say, good, now that you're awake, I'm going to go night-night. Here's your orb in case anything bad happens while I'm asleep. Here, and take a look at this. Maybe it'll make you feel better. And I toss you the uh, wand. But I don't tell you what it is, because that'd be too easy. Then I'm going to um, hold on to it and do a ritual of identify if he's not going to tell me what it is. <laughs> yep. Ten minutes pass, or 11 minutes, I think, is the appropriate time. It's a wand of the war mage. Yep. Well, oh. Plus one. Ah. Oh. See, you got a fancy new toy here. Do you know what it does? I'm asleep. Oh, you went to sleep. Got it. Cool. And yes, I know exactly Fair. what it does. <laughs> I'm also now asleep. You just tossed it to me and went to bed? Yeah, I gave it to you. I don't have literally a single... Well, no. I have one cantrip. So is Jarvis taking hand. watch, or do I need to take watch? So, so now I have... Jarvis is. Okay. It's up to you if you want to. No, it's okay. Yeah, I'm fully rested, so... And with one less level of exhaustion. Yeah, about so that. So we get our long rest. I still have... I still have disadvantage on attacks. I still have disadvantage on ability checks. Huh. I still have disadvantage on saving throws. Uh huh. And your speed is halved. Oh, and my speed is still halved. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. No problem. I got your back. I was trying to be a half glass full there, but. So uh, fun fact: um, if anything comes, I probably won't see it. It's fine. We're in a dome. You know. Yep. Don't sleep. So while you guys we'll... get your long rest. I'm Woo. gonna spend the rest of the time learning my fireball, while I'm just chilling, doing nothing, keeping watch. Those keeping are two very watch. different things. <laughs> doing Trying nothing. to, yeah. And keeping watch, <laughs> two activities. Art, can you not? Is that a? I'm just kidding. I was like, can it's not. Uh... I think he's just talking about, in a general sense. Got it. Yes, in a very general sense. That's all I'm saying. Jake gets me. Uh, so you do that, and you get your, um, I assume you get your spell done? Yeah. Okay. Morning comes, or whatever amounts to morning in Avernus, and you hear a, a knocking. Hey there. Like in our heads? No, at the, at the dome, and you see Red Ruth. Oh. Oh, you're back. That was quick. Yes. How was your bath? Don't I look better? Does she? Yeah, kind of. Like, if, you're, if you weren't so damn tired, you think you could probably pick out one or two things that look cleaner? Yeah, so. you look great. It's, you're mostly just saying it out of, like, being nice. Yeah. Uh... She goes, well, can you get this damn hut out of my way so I can get to my er, my hut? Uh, is my party awake? No. <laughs> uh, can I change after... Hold on, let me look at that spell. Would their exchange wake us up? Mm. Would it matter? Yeah. <laughs> Why do we have to be awake? The spell ends the command interior is dimly dead, dim and fake. I think your guys' passive perception is pretty low. Tons of you leave. Oh, as soon as I leave, um... 14. 
I guess if I... No, I would have stayed in the dome to talk to her. Um, yeah, I guess it stays, and I can't allow her to... Unless you drop it. Do it. Yeah, I'm just going to drop it. Okay. She goes, uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go Yeah, I was, out... I was just protecting your house, you know, and make sure no one gets in while you were gone. Oh, it looked like someone or something tried to get in. Yeah, um, that... Yeah. It, mm, yeah. Must have been waiting for me to leave. Yeah, but we took care of the problem for you. I hope, uh... Thank you. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to go find out what you need to break this pact for this DAO. I'm going to go find out how to do that right now. Thank you. We really appreciate it. You got it. She goes inside. Uh, about ten minutes later, she comes back out and stands patiently uh, as you guys are still sleeping, unless, Jarvis, you've w woken them up. Do I know if they've... If it's been long enough for them yeah. to get a full rest? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I wake my party up. I already said you guys got the full rest. I'm not gonna... Oh, okay. I'm not gonna say Jarvis ruined your long rest. Um, yeah, you guys wake up and uh, familiar face Red Ruth is standing real close. Oh. Hey, Ruth. Oh. I feel like Smell I is slightly before. better. Just slightly. Hi. You look lovely. I think I need a bath. One second. And I start prestidigitating all the blood off of me from sleeping in this disgusting place. Hey, okay. Ollie, Ollie. Yeah, yeah, me first. Yeah, okay. Uh, me too, me too. <laughs> Share the love. Oh, God. Too much. So and that's I like prestidigitate the party clean. A few minutes of just straight casting <laughs> prestidigitation. It's too difficult to do this early in the morning. You do it like 80 times. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, you get everyone. And Red Ruth says, uh, so, my part of the deal, would you like to hear? Yes. Okay. So, to break the pact that Ralzala made with the Archduchess, Archduke Zariel, you'll need the blood of... You'll need the blood of... She checks her notes. Indeed. Uh, thank you, <laughs> Dave. Um, you'll need the blood of Tiamat. Do you know who Tiamat is? I do in my other campaign that I play. I do you have an idea? <laughs> and I'm going to make you... What's your arcana or history at, Jarvis? Uh, plus... Uh, for Arcana, it's plus seven. Oh, yeah. Is he about a deity? Kind of. Kind of? A uh, dragon deity of sorts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jarvis, it's like, um, yeah, it's you immediately know that it's the, the uh, queen of the uh, chromatic dragons who are typically not hospitable. Ah, the mother of dragons. Yes, indeed. That's a steep order. I wasn't done. You'll you'll need the the blood of Tiamat uh, to restore. Checking my notes. To restore a fallen Titan. To get blood from the Titan, that then this Dao will need. I don't know if I made that make sense as well of, as I could have. I'm just very relaxed and sometimes that sounds like I need very to... challenging. And just oh yeah, just to make sure, across. I'd like to make an insight check to make sure she's telling us everything. Okay, let me tell you one more time, and then I'll have you make the uh, okay the insight check. Uh, she says, "There's a fallen Titan who's no longer in his original form. Was was went to fight." Tiamat and was handily destroyed and Tiamat for punishment turned this titan into a spine devil and unfortunately the titan will need to be back in its original form for you to gain the blood needed to break this pact but to turn the 
Spine Devil back into the Titan, you'll need Tiamat's blood. What? And to do that, you'll Sorry. need you'll need to go that way. I can show you when you leave more closely. There's a tower out there. One of Tiamat's most beloved servants, Archon the Cruel, has a vial of Tiamat's blood. What's the name? Archon the Cruel. I think it's so dope he's in, like, actual lore now. So cool. Be careful around him. If you cross him, he's a quite an adept Cruel? fighter. And also has a special hand. Like a, like a, like a baby hand? Like a... Like no, more of a hand. more of a hand of the Lord of Whispers. Mm. Could you describe this man so we know what we're looking for? He's a red dragonborn. Archon the Cruel's tower is pretty noticeable. And I'm sure you'll be stopped before you can get inside the tower. I'm sure he has servants or whatnot. So make your insight check. With disadvantage. Yes! Two high numbers. Uh, 17. Yeah, you think she's being completely truthful and honest? Um, is... Like, is oh, go ahead. Her description of what to do was convoluted, uh, but... Uh, truthful. Is, uh, he gonna let us in willingly? I don't know. What does he... Where does he Our... stand in the, in the blood war? What does he value? I don't know. Well, Tiamat the used to be blood. a ruler of Avernus until she lost favor by trying to escape the Nine Hells and make it to the Material Plane to cause destruction and havoc and Asmodeus cursed her to stay on this plane mm. so she's kind of neither on she's on her own side you could say and Zeriel is her captor now indeed it's good information to have thank you Ruth uh, for all of it. Thank you for watching over my home and uh, setting up my appointment. How did you find Mahadi? A rather pleasant man. Uh, one of the first. Yes. Besides he yourself, is. of course, that we've met uh, since arriving. He is. Speaking Which... of uh, business, you did say you make potions. I don't suppose you make, uh, you know, the more mundane healing potions for mortals like us? Yes, I do. They all... The healing potions cost one soul coin. Oh. Steep. Alright, never mind. Thanks, though. Any uh, favors we can do for you while while we're here? Um, to get, you know, a couple of those healing no. potions? Did you get the items from Mergulid, my gnomish witch friend... I believe he died when he was consumed by this necrotic tree ant. Did you get those items? Uh, didn't see him at all. No. Make a deception check. I'm, I'm literally wearing the hat. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're not disguising or anything. Okay. No. No. Uh, while, while I'm talking to her, was... you just like discreetly <laughs> disguise it into something. I, I was asleep before, while she got here. Oh man, here. that's funny. Like... She goes, "I see you found the hat." But my lie, my lie is a twenty-nine. <laughs> it's a different hat. Yeah. She goes. Oh, yeah, no. I, I move forward. Well, you can, you can keep that. that hat, and uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so shall yeah, I lead you like, out of Jedi mind tricking her? <laughs> yep. 
Uh, shall I lead you out of the brambles and point you in the right direction? Is there anything we can do for a day while we're here, just for the sake of Gary getting I another Jarvis getting another done. long rest? I have nothing that needs to be done. Please, Ruth, lead the way. It's been a okay. lovely stay in uh, your home, near your home. Yes. Outside your home. She leads you out to the top of the crater, and she points you uh, in the direction. And you don't see a tower out there. She's just pointing you. It's very far, and as you've known, traveling Avernus, um, it's going to be a slog uh, getting there. Um, but uh, she points you in the direction nevertheless, so you guys do. Excellent. Uh, uh, before we leave, um, one second. Um, didn't she mention something about uh, getting our car fixed up while we were here? Yeah, the people at the market could fix our car, and yeah. we learned it's very expensive. Oh, did we? Okay. Obscenely expensive. Never mind. We're better off stealing somebody else's car. <laughs> if I remember correctly, uh, we fixed the steering, but that other thing in the back is still broken, right? The giant wrecking the ball. ball. Fixed. Yeah, no, we got it all. Oh, okay, cool. Jerry, Jerry and I did. Yeah, let's you guys set head, out. Uh, head off. What, what's our gas reserves like? How much gas we got and how many uh, reserve coins? Is anybody You're pocketing? low on this tank. I have a coin. I have one left. Do you guys only have two? Uh, I do not have a coin. I do not have a coin. I used mine. Mine was the one that uh, Ruth had given us to pay for the appointment. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wasn't she supposed to pay us back? Or no? We were supposed to oh, front you... one. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, I think... That uh, for, for this Dow that we're doing this whole thing for, did he just want to know how to get the curse broken, or are we supposed to break the curse for the like three soul coins he was going to give us? It was more than that. Or was it? I did. I definitely it, have this written down. It's an introduction <laughs> to the former to Archduke of Avernus Bell, who hates Zeriel and is uh, just... That's right. Yeah, the letter of introduction and then the soul coins. So... Itching to dethrone her. Does anybody remember if we actually have to, actually have to break this thing for him or if we just wanted the info on how to do it? Uh, re may require help. Um, yeah, I don't have mm -mm. that detail. So One should we go back and talk to it. him? Yeah. Well, my problem is, my, my fear is fuel. I mean, driving all the way. But wait, that wasn't far, was it? Yeah, let's go back to him. Yeah, because we still have two soul coins we have enough to at minimum get back to mad maggie if we need yeah to. but i can guarantee he's gonna then turn around and ask us to do it because he can't go anywhere yeah but we might we could maybe get some soul coins or something from him for at minimum the information tell him uh, we're gonna need some good to call. get to at least get to where we need to go yeah let's uh let's do that oh crap we didn't find out where the spine devil is huh well, that's a problem for tomorrow. Everybody on in the car. Zapper? Yep. Yep. Make a survival check to navigate there, somebody. I'll do Who's it. Driving? Go ahead, Ollie. Probably not. Uh, Definitely not Jarvis. <laughs> Jarvis. Definitely not Jarvis. Well, you may have, maybe would have done better than me. I, I got a nat one for a three. Uh, you travel most of the day and you have to put another soul coin in, so someone mark that off. Um, I'll mark it off. And you are come over the top of a rise and right where you think uh, this is where the demon zapper should have been seeing it by now. 
uh, you see uh, a few a few uh, infernal machines that are uh, picking on some creature in the middle, driving circles around this creature and striking it down, doing harm to it. And uh, you see one of the figures on top of an infernal machine covered in chains and uh, lashing out, throwing chains, whipping this thing in the middle that now is dead. Uh, yeah, and that's what you see. What do you guys do? They currently, I, you don't think they've seen how, you? How many? There's two infernal machines. And you see six figures on these machines. Each. No, not on uh, total. Six figures total. Uh, here's the problem. By my calculation, we should... It should be right there. And it's not. And instead we got those things, uh, which look to be in a mood. How, How big are their machines? About the size as... You, uh, as same size as yours. Our machine basically can't take any more damage. Right? How far away yeah. are they? A few hundred feet. Six hundred feet. Hey, Rollercoast. Rollercoast. Yep. If I give you one of these beans, do you think you can run really fast at them, throw the bean and run away? Dude, I really think that I could just fucking shoot them from here. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> put, put the bean on the end of an arrow. <gasps> yes! Yes! I thought that's what you meant by I can shoot him from here. Um, do it. We Rolka. can certainly try. Do it. Do it. And I give you a bean. And I'll mark one of my beans off. Well, I was going to suggest going shopping for a new car, but this is good too. That's what I was thinking some Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, but, you know. I was thinking more like Grand Theft Murder, but sure. <laughs> <That's> fine. <laughs> but we can do that and let the bean do the work. Yeah, go for it. All right. I'm, so I'm you fascinated. You've been talking about it for weeks now, it feels like, and I haven't seen this happen, so go for it. I'm, it's I'm, so cool. Does, I'm how, are you attaching the, how are we attaching a bean to an arrow? I assume you can kind of, like, squish it on there because beans are, like, a little, like... Is it like a hard bean or a soft bean? What kind of bean is in the bag? You'll yeah. find out Jake. when it's, it feels firm. Firm. So you want to poke it on the arrow? Well, no. In the sense, no. Yeah, if it's not. hard, no. I will take... It's not hard. It's like a jelly bean that's been mm. out too long. Do, does anybody have like a cloth or something they don't need? Uh, yeah, sure. I got plenty of things. Um, I have a disguise kit that probably has a piece of tiny cloth, and we can okay. tie it around. Yeah, I want to, like, roll the bean in the cloth. And then, tie the, hand check. and then tie the cloth around the arrow. With advantage. To see I'm how... To see, not with, with it, advantage, because he's only doing it. It's fine. I rolled 18. <clears throat> okay. So that's 21. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just reread how the bag of beans works. Um, yeah. You want to read to me what it is, what I suspect it is? <clears throat> if you remove a bean from the bag, plant it in dirt or sand, and then water it. If the bean produces an effect one minute later from the ground where it was planted, the not GM what I expected. The GM can choose the effect. So I totally misplayed that last time we used it. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking another thing, uh, but yeah. So what do you want to do? All right, then never mind. That Grand part. Theft Murder it is. Um, I I can literally shoot them from here if they're six hundred feet away. Well, they're gonna oh. they're gonna start driving towards us, and this uh, car probably ain't gonna make it. I can get one of you. I can get one of you over there, really quickly. I don't well, know. You want to be hundreds of feet away from everybody else? That sounds yeah. like a terrible idea. By this time, I'm they just gonna see drive you and they're car coming towards Adam. you. I start shooting. Uh, roll initiative. And I start car ramrodding. <clears throat> One sec. Initiatives are a ability, ability check, check, right? 
Yes. <laughs> Natural one! Thank you. Don't go down in the first round and then every turn after that again. <laughs> I hate you so I much. I gave you your orb back. Use it wisely. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't need it anymore now. Just kidding, I do need it, but... Jarvis. Jerry. 12. Roller coaster. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. 19. I, four with plus three, I forgot. Ollie. 16. Um, oh, can we, uh, I meant to do this when Ollie woke up. Can I, like, step back to talk to him about the wand real quick that I'm now holding for him that he gave to me while I was asleep? We can cut back to it in a doodaloo, doodaloo, doodaloo type of flashback. So when you, when you wake up, Ollie, I, I mean, I mm -hmm. probably already knew. Oh, I, f I figured out what this wand does. Uh, yeah. Do you want to use I it? Know. No. Oh. Okay. No, it's pretty useless for me. That's why... I I thought it might make you feel better. Oh, cool. All right. Um, you want to use mine instead? Want to trade? No, really. I got a sword. It, it's pretty nice. I like the sword a lot more. Any Anyone? I Can I attune? I guess you can attune to two wands, huh? <laughs> yeah, why not? I don't okay. see why not. Cool. All right, then I will pocket the other wand. What was it called again? Wand of the War Mage plus one. Cool. Thank you. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. Um, each one of these things goes 100 feet. And so in one turn, that will put you guys within 400 feet. So Relicos will get one turn uh, to shoot his arrow, and that's it because that's his only thing within range. Um, and then we'll go another round, and I'll get another chance to shoot his arrow. Same reason. And we'll be within 200 feet. And then uh, we'll pick up from there, back at the top of the round. So roller coast make. I would uh, have also while we were going closer cast mage armor on myself. Okay. So do you want me to make my first attack? We'll have three. My first round we'll have three attacks. Okay. Whatever you whatever you would do. Yeah. yeah. So first dread ambusher last shot. Are you attacking? What are you attacking? You're attacking the, the vehicle. I'm attacking the if I can see the driver in the vehicles. I'm going for the driver. Okay, you can't. Can I see the guy on top with the chains? You can see guys at various stations. Yeah, the chain guy has gone down under to get more cover now. Is there a wreck or is there a harpooner? Yeah, that's what I'm saying at the stations. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll target a harpooner. Okay. First. Um. First attack, sharpshooter. It's a nat one. No. Second attack, sharpshooter. 18. 18. Third attack. Hits. 17. Yes. On the dread ambusher. Okay. All at the same person? Yeah. Okay. Forty-two damage to that okay. guy. Next round. Is he still on the thing? As far as you can tell, yeah, he's still moving. Okay, I'll shoot at him again. Only with two attacks this time. That's an eight. Nope. That's a seventeen. Yes. Twenty-three damage on that hit. Okay. You strike him with an arrow, and he stops moving. Sweet. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Cat, what are you doing? So, uh, Rollercoast is clearly at one of the har harpooning stations. I'm driving. Where are you guys? Jerry, you're usually at the wrecking ball. Is that where you want to be? And then um, yeah, that's fine. Jarvis, there's another harpoon seat, or you can be up at the chomping mouth in the front. I'll take the chopping mouth at the front. Okay, so you have half cover. Jerry has half cover. Uh, Rollercoaster has half cover. 
I have three quarters cover. Unless and, they have sharpshooter. And we're in the demon Unless grinder. Unless they right? have sharpshooter, and then you have no cover. Yes, demon grinder. Can Lulu operate a harpoon with her trunk? Uh, no, she doesn't want to. It's I don't know how to use it, and I I need more than one. Uh, okay. So, back to the top of the round. Looks like it's falling apart. <laughs> they get to within a hundred feet of you. Uh, because the person driving it has initiative and unleash a volley of harpoons. Okay. Uh, At us or the demon grinder itself? Oh, you'll find out. Okie dokie. It's a net. 20 and a 21 a natural one won't hit and a 12 won't hit either so two of them hit and both of them are going for your machine our machine's probably toast probably toast all right I hope it doesn't so, action movie explode with us in it. There's nine piercing damage on the first one. Okay. Which does not get the threshold. Ooh, nice. That's right. And then nice damage. 12 piercing on the second one, which is it's... actually doubled. So that would be 24 <sighs> piercing damage. It was going to survive, but then it didn't survive because it was a crit. <gasps> These two harpoons, foom, foom. Uh, one of them clinks off the... Uh, Three of them clink off your armor, what's left of it, and one of them gets a direct hit on the soul engine, and this thing goes <laughs> and slows down, and it's no longer moving. And next in initiative would be the guy who just died, so it's not. Rollercoast, it's your turn. All right. Uh, I will shoot at another harpooner. Okay. Good. Same vehicle that guy was on, the one that you I see. Killed. Yeah, now that they're closer, uh, you so see one of the harpoonists was dead, but we still had four harpoons coming at us. Yes. Okay. Um. So you, now that you're closer, you see a person covered in chains, a large humanoid figure covered in chains, writhing animated chains, and you see uh, three barbed devils and one bearded devil. And some imps. Okay. Can I see one of the things in chains? That's what I want to shoot at. You want to shoot the chain devil? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two shots. That's a 17. Yes. These are sharpshooter, and that's a nat one. No. Nineteen damage. Nice. And then is this a bonus action? Should have done that before. I will after that, because I'm an idiot, bonus action hunters mark that guy. Okay. Yep. Done. Alright. Lulu's turn. She can't do much. She'll hold an action for if they get close enough to she'll use her uh trumpeting sparkle trunk and now it is back to the barbed devils who are how far away are they now less than 100 feet because they're in range probably of are we in full initiative order now? Or yeah, that's the... what I was. Yeah, and oh, they're okay, still okay. before you. Yeah, so, okay. uh, we're good. It was just Go yeah. On. Okay, it was just Rollercoast who rolled well on his. Gotcha. Thanks. Um, in fact, you're next. So uh, you're gonna unleash another harpoon, and this one's gonna be aimed at one of you guys. We'll see which one. One, two, three, four. Okay. Jarvis is a 19 hit with the cover. Half cover, that's plus 
two or one? Two. Plus two. Two. Uh, two for half, five for three quarters. Yeah, that hits. 19, Kay. you said? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. Okay. By one. Three piercing damage as this thing grazes you. And that will be their turn. Ollie? Um, they're about 100 feet, you say? Like 80 feet. 80 feet, you say? Um, I am going to... Stay in the cover of where I'm at. <laughs> and just going to unleash some Eldritch Blasts then. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch them at the... Does I, can still, I can target the Chain Devil guy, right? You can. He'll have cover. He has cover. Is there any that are more exposed that do not have cover? Or is right now pretty much everyone's in some form of cover? You could get an imp or two. Nah, I'm going to go for the big guy. Okay. Um, yeah. So first blast. Uh, let's do two at once. Is garbage. And... <laughs> So that's a 21 and a 10. To hit the chain devil? Yeah. Uh, 21 hits. Okay. 13 points of force damage. Okay. My, as a laser shoots from my sword. <laughs> and I stay in cover and... Uh, and I am also going to be something... Uh, stu do something stupid. And now Hexblade Curse... <laughs> that guy with my bonus okay. action. All right. <laughs> We're good at this game. We're good at this game. <laughs> and then I'm done. Okay. Barb Devil number do is going to unleash a uh, harpoon. Let's see at two. At Rolikos. That's a 10. Won't do it. Jerry. You're on a motionless infernal machine. How far is the uh, the other the closest? Uh... Like eighty feet. Oh, really? Still. Okay. Uh, and I can't. I mean, you can't do anything with the uh, wrecking ball at that distance, right? Nope. Yeah. Not unless you tell me it does. I don't have. <laughs> I'm not looking at the. Uh... Take it off and just throw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna. Just look up. Yeah, javelin is 120 feet, so I'm gonna try to throw throw the old jav. At who? The chain guy, or a barb devil, or a bearded devil? Uh, the chain guy. Okay. Nice. Um. So it's an athletics check with a javelin, right? Yes. Uh, 24. Yes. Assuming that hits. And then... It should be on your character sheet what the javelin is, Dave. Yeah, it, yeah. What does it say? What? Like what the attack Damage. is? Yeah, it just says it. Yeah, it adds it up for me. I just didn't look at it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the damage is uh, a nine. Okay. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rage. But it's only... I rage? guess it's just... just it's just melee. It's not a melee, so I don't get any bonus. Okay. All right. Barb Devil, next one. Is going to unleash another harpoon again. Let's see at Hugh. Jarvis again. 23. 11 piercing damage. And now it's your turn, um, Jarvis. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, 11 piercing damage, cool. Um, I am going to... So there's three... There's three vehicles total, right? Including yours. Including ours. So there's two other vehicles, and they're both the same demon grinder type vehicle? Yes. Cool. Um, is there any open seats on any of them? Uh, one of them who's dead. Um, let me look at just how many. Uh, two, 
Um, yeah, there's one or two. So, can I... Okay, I'm gonna... Is it possible for me to dimension two. door over there with someone from my party and get someone onto that vehicle? Uh, if they're willing. Cool. Um, hey, Jerry! Come with me! We're going on this vehicle! And I open a door, and I bring him with me, assuming he's willing. Sweet. And Sounds like he is. Dimension door onto that vehicle that has two open seats. Okay, you're 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 on that vehicle. Did cool. it have to have an open seat for the spell? Not really. No, he could have put it anywhere on the machine. Got it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Anything be, else? That'll be my turn. I'll sit in okay. I'll sit in the open harpoon spot. Okay, so there's a chain devil on this one and two barb devils. And the imps are on the other one, and they're taking off, it looks like. Fuck you! <laughs> At least they're not red caps. And the chain devil is screaming uh, at the traitorous bastards. Bearded devil is going to fire a harpoon at you guys. And then we'll finally be close after this, which will be a 14 to hit uh ollie which doesn't Arp. chain devil's turn gets the car within well essentially right up close to you guys and is going to attack uh let's see if it's going to attack jarvis or jerry Jerry. Chain. Chain man's going to make two attacks with his chains. Lashing, whipping them at you. And that will be a 26 and a 19, Jerry. Both. Okay. All right. That is eight slashing damage on the first one. Another eight slashing damage on the second one. And you're grappled by these chains as they wrap around you. Uh, reminding you of your time in Baldur's Gate when you went into Mandor Kai's mansion and were looking around. Uh, all right. That's its turn. That guy's dead. Roller coast. Two more shots at the hunter's marked chain devil. Sharp okay. shooter. It's a 19. Yep. And a 14. 14 does not hit. Twenty two damage. Okay. That Anything else? Go. Nope. Okay. Lulu is going to flutter over to one of the cars and it's going to unleash a trumpet of blasting. They need to make con saves. And they fail. Nice, Lulu. Twenty, whopping thunder damage. Nice work for each of them. All right. Okay, this barb devil's going to attack either Jerry or Jarvis. It's going to be a Jerry. Uh, 
I'm always happy to hear that when I have lots of health. Take the meetings for us. The demo. All right. Claws. That's a nine and a five miss. And then a tail is an 11. So all three attacks miss. While I'm grappled, somehow I dodged all three. <laughs> uh, Grau, good point. Good point. He's not restrained. Yeah, you're just, your moves. Yeah, you're just there. grappled. Yeah. So you're still moving. Like you're not, you're still fighting. Yeah. yeah. Bobbing and weaving. But thanks for reminding me because I could have had to check that. I might have gotten hit. Um, Ollie. Um, I'm going to hex the chained devil now. Okay. So it has multiple curses from me on him. And I will try to Eldritch Blast. Those aren't again. Con uh, concentration, all of them? Hexblade's curse is not. Hex is. Okay. Hexblade, Hexblade's curse is just an ability, it's not a okay. spell. And almost identical rolls as before <laughs> a 21 and a bad. And a 13. Nope. So this time he's hexed. Um. Fourteen points of force damage this time. Okay. Anything else? No. Nope. I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay. Barb Devil. Wait. How far is the cart? The other car? They're it's all still within driving, like. Though, right. No. They're everyone's within like twenty feet now. Yeah, but they're all still moving. Yeah, I'll stay where I am. Um. All right. This Barb Devil is going to hurl a flame at the Eldritch Blaster. Uh, does an 18 hit? No, sir. Okay. Jerry. Jerry's going to try to wriggle out of the grapple. Using okay, athletics. make an athletics check. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Advantage on, uh, don't even need the advantage. But, uh, huh, it's weird. I'm rolling doubles. Uh, two 19s for 26. Yep, you escape. Anything cool. else you'd like to do? So that's my action, right? Yep. Yeah. Nope, can't. Well, actually, I can I can punch him for a bonus, right? No. Can't? Unarmed? Is that no. something in your bonus that it says you can do? Yeah, bonus Go action says... Uh, I just click on bonus actions. It's just, oh no, it just says two weapon fighting. No, it's all if I'm holding two weapons. Okay. So. All right. Barb Devil on the other machine. It's going to hop on over. Does perfectly fine. Hop on over to your stalled dead machine. And as. Yes. So the two enemy, there are still two enemy machines, just the imps flew away. The imps flew away, yes. Gotcha. They didn't drive the other machine away. No, no. They got it. Just, okay. Cool. Got it. Yeah. They can they're, fly they're pretty just, fast, so. They're just imps yeah. about it. I got it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, all right. So it's going to attack Ollie. That's not going to do it. A three and a one, so that's not going to do it for the claws. And another three. All right. Good rolls. Jarvis. Is Rollercoast within 30 feet of me? Um, yeah, it's probably around that. Beautiful. Rollercoast, you are now hasted. Sick. And that will be my turn. Okay. Bearded Devil is going to do the same thing. Hop on over. And try to get after Rollercoast this time. So he's a glaive and beard attack. There we go. That should do it. Uh, this is a melee, so it's a glaive is a 21 to hit. Yes. Plus, and a, you have plus two, and don't you have partial cover? In, incorrect. This is They're in melee range now. Oh. 
They hopped over. Um, and a 24 to hit. Yes. That roll. Same. Good. Three, ten. So an eight piercing damage from the beard and make a constitution constitution saving throw and a nine slashing from the glaive. Eighteen on the con save. Okay, you're good as. Poison is sloughed off, shouldered off, and make another constitution saving throw for the glaive this time. Nine. It's a fail. You feel some infernal iron magic from the glaive uh, course through you. And you now have an infernal wound uh, at the beginning of your turn. You can, I believe, make a save again or staunch the wound. Um, because at the beginning of your turn, you lose five hit points due okay. to the wound. And then I need to make two con saves for Hunter's Mark. Okay, so B to 10. Uh, yes, it's 18. That's an 8, so Hunter's Mark goes away. Okay. All right. Top of the round, Chain Devil is still alive. Is Let's see who goes after Jerry or... Jarvis, and this time it's going after Jarvis. Does it disengage with me? No, oh, it's using mind. chains. Just, never mind, I was the chain guy, yeah. All right. A 20 and a natural 20. Does a 20 hit? I'm going to cast shield on the first one. Okay. The Yeah, the natural 20 hits. That is nine slashing damage for the chain. And, and will, you're grappled. And I got to roll con save for Rollercoast. Got to be 10. Oh, I'm plenty. I have a plus six on it, so uh, you're good. I'm, st I'm still good on the con save. Haste okay. stands. And you're uh, grappled. Cool. This guy's dead. Rollercoast. All right. Um, I'm going to take my two shots at that same chain devil I've been shooting at. Yep. Start shooter. Do it. Uh, no, that's a two on the dice. Nope. 22 on the second hit? Yep. 22 damage. And its chains fall limp as the creature starts to melt away. And I just want to see if there's any spells, bonus action I should do. Yeah, you know what? There's a guy hitting me. I'm going to bonus action, shield of faith myself for another 2 AC. Okay. Sorry, did you use your hasted action? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. I did not. I will haste shoot at... Can I see the one holding Jerry? Uh, there's no none of them are holding anyone anymore because the chain guy is dead. Uh, there is barb devils around that you could shoot. Uh, uh, sure. The the next closest thing threatening Jarvis. Okay, yeah, that's a barb devil. That's a mod twenty to hit. Yes. And that's nineteen damage. Okay. That will be all. Lulu is going to try to um, 
Sparkle Blast. The Bearded Devil. Another fail. Rolling amazing. 48. Jesus. Lulu's kicking ass tonight. Go. 20 damage. All right. Barb Devil, whom Rollercoast just shot, is going to see who he wants to go after. Looks like Jerry again. Claws. A 12 and a 21. The 21, I assume, hits. Mm hmm. And uh, 25 for the tail. Is um, 21 total uh, piercing damage. Got it. Ollie. I am going to... I uh, got 6 temp HP as the Hexblade's Curse uh, activates when that guy okay. died. So cool. My bonus action Hex, I'm going to move it to the uh, one that attacked Rollicos. Okay. Um, presumably I can the bearded attack devil? Yeah. that one as well. Like we're all on the same yeah. vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You two are, um, yeah. Yeah. So then I'm going to um, attack that one. Okay. With my two swings. Oh, those are both. That's a 16 and a 17, which is a 24 and a 25. Yes. Um, on the first hit, I'm going to Defensive Flourish. Those are D10s, not D8s. Uh, red will be my Defensive Flourish die. Which is only a 2. 14 points of slashing on the first swing. Second swing. Oh, nope, that's not even true. 20 points on the first swing because of hex. And second swing is 19 points of damage on the second yeah, swing. Yeah, you killed the bearded devil. Noise. That is my turn. Okay. Barb devil. Barb devil going to make its way to the other car and is going to work on Rollercoast. Is that the one that was on our car? Do I get an opportunity attack? No, it's on the other car. It's making its way over. All the carts are stopped now. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Uh, that is only one hits on the claw and then the tail is a nat 20. My AC is 22. Nat 20 auto hits. Oh, I thought you said the first claw hit. Uh, yeah, it did. It was a 23. I didn't know it was a 22. Uh, what, how is it 22? He's hasted. Uh, oh, I have hasted. an 18 oh. natural. I'm hasted. And, hasted. and then I uh, shield the faith myself for the extra two. Oof. Yeah, good call. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately. That was close. I'm glad you, you definitely double-checked that. Uh, all right. Sixes. Sixteen uh, piercing damage from the Barb Devil total. Okay. Sixteen, so I need to make two con saves for my Shield of Faith. Yep, beat ten. Mod twenty and twelve, so we're good. Yep. Jerry. Um, I pre-rolled a little bit. Does a 14 hit? I have to run over to the other vehicle first. But There's still one in front of you. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I thought we killed two things. and. Yeah, right. you did. Uh, there's three barbed devils left. Oh, okay. So do you want to run over there or no? No, no. Just stay if there's one right in front of me. 
What did, what did you, uh, what was your attack? Uh, Number? 14. No, that does not hit. Okay, so then the second one's a 22, and then there's yep. 24 damage for that. Okay. Very injured, that one. Very injured, that one. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, all right. This guy is going to go after Ollie with two claws and a tail. That's a four. That's not going to do it. Does a 22 hit? Not when I shield myself, it doesn't. Cool. And the tail is another four. My rolls are fucking amazing right now. All right. Jarvis. Jarvis is going to toll the dead, the one in our vehicle. Okay. It's a 15 wisdom save. Yep. Uh, 14. Beautiful. And that is oh, five points of uh, necrotic damage. Okay, oh, wait. I'm sorry. Than... I rolled the wrong dice. Crap. Okay. I need to roll. Reroll. I forgot. He has, da he has damage from uh, yep. Jerry. Fifteen damage. Nice. The better that dice. Is, that is a, a difference. Yeah. <laughs> it's a numerical difference. I for, I keep forgetting D and D Beyond doesn't let me roll that two D twelve yet. Rollercoaster. I am going to take. How many things are not on our vehicle left alive that I can see? One. One. I'll. Uh... No, you know what? I'm still hasted, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take. Use my hasted action to disengage. Okay. And then get off of the vehicle. Okay. And move. And I also double your move speed with haste, I believe. Yep. Make an acrobatics check getting off the machine real quick. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, I assume it would be. Yeah. Um, and then move so my movement is doubled I'll get a hundred and twenty feet away using my sea lines of grace okay also and who are you gonna shoot at uh, the guy that's been punking me <laughs> okay the one who was close to you yeah I killed the first one that punked you yeah so that's a 16 sharpshooter shot on the first one yes Actually, they have cover. That one doesn't. Hit. Not for me, they don't. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then a 15 on the second shot. It just hits. That's 17, and then 21, 39. Okay. Or thir no, 17 to 28. Okay. Anything else? Yeah to that guy. No, that will be all. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's it. That's it. Good. Lulu is going to trumpet two barb devils. They're going to need to make some saves. Two natural ones. I am rolling fucking amazing tonight. Just incredible. This is riveting shit. In fact, I'm just going to call it after this round and have you guys take some some uh, take some of your uh, resources down. Uh, that's two fails. Let me just roll her damage real quick. Uh, five D six. Does plate Plate armor doesn't decrease your walking speed, right? Not no, it gives you disadvantage on stealth. I'm just trying to figure out why my walking speed is 20 feet right now. Yeah, exhaustion? No. Are you not proficient in plate I'm mail? Proficient in plate mail. In heavy sure? armor. Yeah. You get that heavy. when you multi-class? Because there's some things you don't get when you multi-class, yeah. right? Yeah, it says armor, heavy armor. All right. 18, 21. Fuck, she takes out one of the barb devils. 
I mean, with my shit rolls and then amazing rolls with Lulu. She hasn't done under 20 damage so far. <laughs> I'm two... plenty other fights where that average has rolled out. <laughs> I'm two <laughs> pounds over my carrying capacity. Ah, I, I, I would have only <laughs> moved a hundred feet then. Yeah, it's no big deal. We're calling it after this round. Uh, one left in front of you, Jerry. Have at it. I rolled a nat twenty for uh, thirty-one damage, but then I get dead. I still get my my regular another attack and then a bonus attack after that. It's already dead. Oh, it's already dead. Okay. Sorry, um, is there another one? Not close to you. Yeah. There you go. I don't know what that... That's it? I, That's if he's dead. I was hoping he was going to throw a javelin at the other guy. <laughs> I can only... Me I only have a... I can only do a melee. It's like uh, you can make one melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Barb hmm. Devil going at Ollie. That's a two and a seven. For Christ's sakes. Nothing can touch me. Uh, that's an 11 <laughs> total. That's the highest I just rolled. This is stupid. <laughs> um, I need RNG to please give me drama, because this is not dramatic <laughs> at all. Uh, all right. Jarvis. Um, Jarvis, he's within uh, 60 feet of me, so I'm... Or the one on our vehicle still alive. Oh, no, he's dead. Ha! Um, so I'm going to do another Toll the Dead on the one on the other vehicle. Yep. Wisdom. Another Wisdom save, yep. 17. Ooh. Succeeds. Okay. So, uh, this guy's uh, about to get taken down in one round, so I'll say whatever you guys would have used in one round, go ahead and mark that off resource-wise on your character sheet, because it's after nine. Uh, and... I think I got skipped that last round anyway, so he'd probably be dead. Maybe so went before me, and Jerry maybe he did get after skipped. Me. It's possible, oh, but he's probably These things happen. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he's dead. So mark off what you would have used. My sword, for one round, perfect. <laughs> um, and we'll call it there. Excellent. You guys have two machines two to choose from. Machines. Can I attempt to get any of the nine arrows I shot back? Yeah, go ahead and roll a d10. Seven. You get seven. I always forget about the arrows. I have uh, to. I've just been draining them lately. Yeah. Um, well, the way you negotiate for them we need to keep track of them. <laughs> oh, I, no no i keep track i'm just i'm dread like I, I haven't been picking them up i've been taking them away I, yeah no <laughs> I, was i'm making I'm fun of your myself. failure of a negotiation yeah. <laughs> i'm referring to myself too just because of that because uh, i need to remember to do that all right cool guys we'll be back next week uh same time same place same people hopefully 7 p.m pacific venture ventures thank you so much i'm jake i've been the dm be excellent to others. Be excellent to yourself. Have a good one.